Hello, this is Artrolia Anime Room Reviews. I am Artrolia, and today I'll be reviewing... I was looking through Netflix one day, and I saw this anime pop up. And then I saw the, t um, I think the tag for it, Emotional. And I was like, oh boy. But I decided to sit down and watch it just to see. I was expecting it may end in the type of way that Angel's Beat did, but I was somewhat wrong about that. Is this an anime that I would consider or no, or a little bit of both? Well, today I'm going to be reviewing Yuki. You wanna, if that's right, is a hero. So let's go. Step one of sealing the enemy. First, we surround them. Alright, so basically, you know, if you know Sailor Moon, it's it's about four girls, later five, that have to protect the Divine Tree from these vertex or whatever creatures that are, want, that are wanting to destroy it. And the Divine Tree protects the blessing of humanity here. So these characters are basically chosen by the Sinju, and when they are ready to fight, they have a special phone that tells them, or notifies them, that the enemy is coming, and they transform in the other world to fight them. If I can remember correctly, it wasn't too hard to follow what was going on, but I will say for what happens in the story, the more the characters use their powers, there will be consequences for them. It's the law of equivalent exchange, right, young alchemist? And whenever something happens, or like if they're fighting in the other world, there are stuff that happens in our world because of that. This show, like I mentioned before about the tag, does have emotional moments and kind of depressing with what these characters have to go through. Because of what I mentioned before, they use their powers, there is a consequence. And they also find out different things about the Sinju, if I can remember correctly. And there are these scenes that are touching and emotional. What would I think about the story? Uh, I guess you could say, it, for me, it was pretty good. But like every other type of anime I would like to call fan service usually like to show women's bodies oh dear however even though this does it a little bit not as much as like high school of the dead and the soundtrack it's okay it's not memorable I mean maybe you have some here and there but they're not too memorable and the anime has a nice art style An animation it's really detailed and the action scenes are really nice, detailed perfectly, and there is mixture of CGI with the animation. I don't mind CGI work, but some people don't like it. The characters are interesting, but I do have one issue with at least two characters. Yuki and Karen, if I'm pronouncing her name right. For the other characters, we do get somewhat of a backstory for them as the show plays along, but... For the two that I mentioned, not so much. They do mention Karen's reason or motivation for why she's fighting, but it doesn't go into much detail about her history. As for Yuki, no. The ca and I actually liked their interactions with each other. They, it, There were funny moments and then moments where there's like, hmm. I mean, you get to see some of their, like, daily lives before they have to go into battle. And, you know, that was pretty nice to see, like, these character developments on what they do. Now, for some reason, I don't get why people don't like dubs or just say bad things about the dub. But to tell you the truth, in here, I thought the voice acting was really good. I thought the voice actors did a really good job at bringing these characters to life, and it fits them. And I, I've also heard that people just think that they don't sound like young kids. Here's the thing. Some teenagers sound like they're adults. So overall, I thought the dub was really good. The voice actors did a good job. And as for my enjoyment, it did have emotional points. But I did enjoy it overall, and I feel like people may not like the story due to the weird stuff and the stuff that like they're fighting in this other world but 
Yeah. I was curious to see how the ending would play out, and sometimes when I look at an anime, I wonder if it's going to end bad, or if, if it's going to have a bad, tragic ending, or sad, or whatnot. This show had me thinking the entire time, like, I bet this is how it's all going to end for these characters. Or just have a sad conclusion. Luckily, I was wrong. But it did leave you with one question that was never explained. Um, this show may not be for everyone. I mean, when I first was watching it, I thought it was kind of eh. Like, I didn't really know if I would like it as much, but I did get hooked after watching it for a while. It was the characters that made me come back to see how they would get through this. I thought the story and the dub were good. The animation art style was beautiful. And if you like, you know, other type of girl hero type shows like Sailor Moon, for example, then you probably will like it. Yuki Yana is a hero. Um, it wasn't bad. It turned out to be entertaining for a time. And the characters are likable. It's got action. It's got characters you will enjoy. I mean, it's not like a type of anime I would really usually watch, but, you know, it just depends. I haven't even watched Sailor Moon. This this is probably the first time I've seen, like, an, uh, a show with girl heroes like Sailor Moon. And, you know, I thought it was good. So I would give it a 7 out of 10, because it does have good elements in there, and it it's good. You may find some enjoyment in this show. It's not long like other shows out there, and you could speed through it pretty quickly. Good voice acting. Characters that you will like. I will recommend that there is another second season. I don't know if I will watch it, though. I don't know. But I will also point to, you guessed it, Sailor Moon because of girl power. And then there's this anime. Can't remember the name right now. There's so many animes out there like that. I can't name them all, but these are at least the three, especially season two, that I've heard is coming out. So you may find something here that you'll like. Well, this is Artoria Anime Room Reviews, signing off.